Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome you back. Um, just going to be a little vlog today, just talking about what's coming up and, and all that stuff. Um, but first of all, happy Easter to everybody. I hope everybody had a good Easter. And uh, if I have any uh, Jewish viewers out there, happy Passover as well. Um, but it's been like about, I think, two weeks since I've done a video, close to two weeks, something like that. But, you know, I, I did all those random videos, you know, different topics and stuff like that. And then... Um, I know I said I wanted to get back into doing the movie reviews, which I'll get back into starting this week, hopefully, um, if things go correctly. Um, and then, who knows. But, um, yeah, I've just been busy, been busy working. Like I said, you know, I work um, a lot of hours. You know, I work long hours. You know, I work all kinds of different hours, weird hours and stuff like that. Um, so I know because... You know, people ask me all the time, well, when's your next video? When's your next video? What's your next video going to be? You know, and the same people ask me all the time, and it just gets fucking annoying, people. I'm sorry. I know I sound like a dick, but it's just annoying when the same people ask you every single day, you know, what's your next video? When's your next video? Okay? You know, I know I always say this, but I'm not here to please everybody. Okay? I'm here to please myself. All right, I don't, I don't get paid to do this. I do this on my own time. Okay, I have a life. My life. I don't get on YouTube all day and watch videos and make videos. Okay, I, I, I have plenty more to do than that. Okay, so I just need to put that out there because some people can't get it through their thick skulls, you know. But um, what's coming up? Um, like I said, I do want to get back into the movie reviews um, because you know when I. Basically, what I want to do, I want to get back to basics. You know, I want to get back to just doing movie reviews, you know, because um, when I first started the channel, you know, I said I would like to do tributes and, and all this other kind of stuff. But that's just really hard now because the way YouTube is. You know, YouTube, you know, it merged with Google, you know, a little while ago, about a year ago, you know, almost a year ago, close to a year ago, whatever. Um, you know, and there's just there's just too much bullshit here with YouTube. It really is, folks. It really is because you know you try to put music in the vid in your videos, and then you get a copyright claim. But there's a thousand other videos of that song on YouTube, and they don't get taken down. They don't get copyright claims and all this. You know, you try to put a little bit of footage from a movie in there, and you get peop you get directors emailing you. You know, like Matt has had that. You know, and 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 copyright and all this shit. It, it, it's not fun. People, you, YouTube and Google, whoever, they're not making it fun anymore. You know, and I always talk about this. You know, if I could start my own website, you know, and I could for free or a reasonable price, because you know they're never free, which is bullshit. But you know, if I could start my own website with just me and my friends on here, and we could just upload whatever we wanted, put music, put footage. You know, I would do it, but it's, again, it's cost too much money to do that, to run a website. You know, time and money. But, you know, but, yeah, again, you know, it's, it's just, you they take all the fun out of it, you know. But, you know, I'm going to try to inc in incorporate more music, you know, in some of the videos and stuff like that. I just got to be careful, because I know on the, the Ultimate Warrior one I did, I got a copyright claim. Not because of the Ultimate Warrior theme, because of the Beatles song that I used at the end, which is my favorite Beatles song, and I thought it was appropriate to use that. But I didn't, you know, like, you can dispute it and stuff. I'm not even going to acknowledge it, because that's bullshit, you know. I've, I've had problems with that in the past, where I've used music um, in, in, in videos, and then they said it's a copyright. You know, that's, that's, that's all bullshit. All of it. You know, it, it is. So, but... You know, like I said, I want to get back to basics, you know, because, again, when I first started, you know, I've reviewed a bunch of movies. I reviewed all the Halloween films, pretty much, the Friday the 13th movies, Nightmare on Elm Street, um, Night of the Creeps, um, Fright Night 1 and 2. I did a good chunk of the Arnold Schwarzenegger films, some I missed. Um, I did a bunch of Dolph Lundgren movies. I did The Gate, the horror film The Gate, which I like, uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, some of the Highlander films. You know, I did I did a lot of a lot of stuff back then. You know, when I first started, which was it's three years ago, almost or now, yeah, three years ago, 2011 is when I started on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it's been three years already—a long time. 
time flies, man. Whew. But, um, you know, I want to go back and I want to redo all those because, and I always talk about this, and I, th and, and I know I have this problem. I, I, I think I don't have enough time, and that's not just with YouTube, that's with life, you know, and I talk way too fast a lot of times. And I think in a lot of those videos, that was my problem. You couldn't understand me, you know. And a lot of them, like, I think my Predator review was like 10 minutes. I know I can talk about a movie like Predator for at least a half an hour. But, you know. So, yeah, I definitely, you know, I went back and I looked through um, all the reviews that I did. So I'd like to, to redo all those. I know I did the Power Ranger films. I'll redo those. I know people get excited about that. And I know someone's going to ask, well, when's your next Power Ranger review? Well, it, 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 it comes when it comes, folks. You know, like I said... You know, I don't get paid to do this. I don't get paid to watch movies and stuff. That's my free time, you know. So, you know, it come, when it comes, it comes. You just got to be patient. You know, it is a virtue, believe it or not. But, because, um, you know, I really, when I, I really enjoyed doing, last year when I did Martial Arts Month for my birthday, because it was May and I was turning 21 and I wanted to do something special. I really enjoyed those. I really enjoyed reviewing those movies, you know, I took my time, I wanted to make sure the reviews were good, you know, I really planned them out carefully, you know, I really enjoyed those, so that's kind of the template that I'm setting up for the next, for what's coming up next in terms of reviews and, and everything else, because, you know, those films, you know, um, I did, you know, American Ninja movies, I did Best of the Best, Three Ninjas, Mortal Kombat, um, you know, I did a bunch of bunch of martial arts films and I really like I said I really I really like that because n number one you know I picked movies that I really enjoyed you know those those films you know I did Perfect Weapon some of the Jeff Speakman movies because those are films that I that I would consider prime examples sorry it's like 2 a.m. you know getting tired you know, those are films that I would consider, you know, prime examples of the martial arts films that people wouldn't really talk about. You know, everybody talks about Chuck Norris and Van Damme and, and that kind of stuff. But, you know, those films, that's because that's, I wanted people to find out more about those films, you know. And, I, like I said, I had a lot of fun doing those. A lot of fun. And that's the template that I'm setting up for the next, excuse me, bunch of reviews. Um... What I'm going to start with, I think, is Highlander because I know someone in the Q&A had asked me if I was going to review the TV show. And I actually, about two months ago, I believe it was, actually finished watching the series again. Um, and it was it was fun to go back and watch all the episodes. Um, I got to see some episodes I had not seen in a very long time, ones I didn't even remember. You know, it was a lot of fun to go back and watch Highlander because that's always been one of my favorite shows uh, growing up, and and even still today, it's still one of my favorites. Um, and I I did watch a few episodes of Highlander: The Raven, but I, it was it was awful. I could not sit through it, so I'll probably just rant on that from what I've seen. You know, just a general kind of rant on it. You know, but so I think I'll start with that. And what I'll do is. I'll do like a history, my history with Highlander, because I really liked when I did that with Power Rangers and some other, you know, other uh, groups of films and stuff. So I think when I'm going to do like a, a series of reviews, like, you know, Highlander or whatever, you know, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, you know, I think I'll do like a history, like an overview, you know, talk about what my memories are of watching the movies or whatever it is I'm reviewing, you know. So I think, yeah, I think that'll, I think that's cool. Those are video, cool videos to do, and at least in my opinion, you know, fun. You know, I like it's, it's all about having fun for me. You know, and yeah, that, those are always fun to do. So I think I'll start with that because now I've seen all the movies now. Um, the animated series, I may hold off on because I actually have the, the uh, DVD for the complete series, but I haven't watched it yet. And I know it's like 40 episodes, um, so it'll take about a week or two to get through for me because. Of work and, and everything else, um, you know. So we'll see. But yeah, I'll definitely do the movies and the series, and I'll probably do a rant on the uh, the Raven, and then maybe later on down the road I'll do the animated series. Because right now, um, in terms of what I'm watching, I'm actually gonna start tomorrow on season four of Sliders. I already watched the first three. Season five, um, I know that's the one where. 
uh, Jerry O'Connell left. And to be honest, I mean, um, if I find the DVDs really, really cheap, like less than 10 bucks, which I doubt, um, I'll probably pick it up. But other than that, I'm not in really a rush to see it. Now, I know um, Clavant Derricks is in it, and I, I like him. I really like his character. Um, and I even tried downloading it, but like I said, my my connection is just it's just so shitty right now. I don't know what the problem is, but um, you know I even tried downloading it and it wouldn't download. But you know if I find it really really cheap, like ten bucks, less than ten bucks, you know, just to just to watch it, and then I'll probably sell it or something, you know. But um, yeah, I'll, I'm so I'm watching that. I'm trying to watch through Chuck Norris movies. I have like pretty much all I have. Pretty just one I need on Laserdisc. So I'm watching all of them on Laserdisc right now, um, and then I, I over the weekend I, I got some mail and, and bought a bunch of stuff when I was away. Cause for the ho- for the holiday I went away. I went to my grandparents cause they live at uh, Bethany Beach, Delaware, which is like three hours from me. And they're not. I mean they're they're good, but you know they're getting older and stuff. So we went to go see them this year cause they usually come up. But that's okay. You know it's something different. You know. But, you know, so I'm just trying to get through, because I, I went crazy with TV shows. I have all these TV shows I have to watch, you know, so much stuff. Stuff that's been sitting there for a couple years I haven't even touched yet. So I'm trying to finish that up before I buy any more TV series. So that's pretty much what I've just been watching, just trying to get through TV series and uh, movies. Like, you know, and wrestling I haven't even gotten into yet. I, you know, I've been buying wrestling tapes and stuff like crazy. Haven't even touched that stuff yet, but that's okay because I'm trying to get all the, the pay-per-views and the uh, you know everything. So, but um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of do a vlog just to fill everybody in on what's going on. Um, you know, I do want to start getting back into the movie reviews and re-reviewing older stuff. You know, try to make them better and everything like that. So you'll be seeing that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I, I really like doing the updates, DVD, and, you know, I like sharing my collection with people. I know I did a collection video last year. Um, I may do one at some point, maybe this year, maybe one, you know, one time a year I'll do a, just a collection, you know, as of this date. You know, maybe, maybe you know, in a month or so, two months, maybe I'll show off my collection. You know, I think that would be cool, and I know people like to see those. So maybe, yeah, once a year I'll do it, just a, a whole collection video. You know, that would be cool to see to do, you know, DVD, laser disc, everything I have, you know, so maybe, you know, maybe I'll do that in about, yeah, two months or something, you know, but, um, for May, I actually want to do, um, this year for May, as, as some of you may know, uh, my birthday is in May, but this year, I don't want to do, like, a whole series, um, this year, um, since it is the 20th anniversary of this film, I actually want to do a, you know, review slash retrospective look back at The Crow with Brandon Lee. I've reviewed The Crow a few times before, and the first time I reviewed it, you know, that was that was lousy in my opinion. The second time, I really I really enjoyed that review because I watched it a few times, and you know, and I like going back and watching my own videos because I think it's good because I can see what I did wrong, and you know, I just I, I, it's interesting. You know, I just think it's interesting to go back and watch them. But, um, I, yeah, this year, uh, since it's the 20th anniversary of the movie, I think I'll do a, you know, a retrospective look at The Crow, you know, do just not, you know, review kind of, you know, and just kind of talk about the movie and tell some behind the scenes stories or something, you know, just thoughts on the movie and, and, and what I think 20 years later and everything. So, yeah, that's just basically just it for now, just a vlog, just kind of telling everybody what's coming up. I know that, um... You know, in, in the previous videos, I have said that. So hopefully this week, I will start back up with the the, the movie reviews. So the first one I, I want to do, though, since I am going to do Highlander, I want to do just kind of a general, you know, history with Highlander, just my personal history with it, you know, and then go do the movies first, and then I'll do the TV shows. But the TV show, what I'll do is I'll do the seasons. The season 1 review, season 2. Because when I do the whole thing, you know, it gets kind of confusing. People get confused. So I'll just do season by season. And then I'll just do like a rant on Highlander the Raven. Just, you know, because it was lousy. Um, the only thing... Actually, I do have the anime on my computer. So I may watch that and review that as well since I'm... So I think the only thing I won't do is the animated series because um, right now 
Well, I don't know. Maybe. Well, it, that's a maybe. So we'll we'll check. We'll we'll see. We'll see about the animated series. But Highlander, you know, I think Highlander will be a good start. I love Highlander. I'm a big fan of the franchise. So we'll see, guys. But anyway, I just wanted to do this vlog, just kind of fill everybody in, you know, see what's going on and everything. So uh, thanks for watching, and take care. See you later.